Bob Jane Tmart just called and said, hey, we didn't bill you for your tires that you bought from us. Ha! <laughs> so I've got to go down and tell them that's okay to bill me now. So. And I'm also going to take this with me so I can show you what's happening in the world of uh, Southwest Sydney. It's the camera I'm going to use. Canon EOS M3. M3. It's um, an oldie, but a goldie. I love it. I've got the 24-105 mil on there. Um, that is an equivalent of a, I think a 40, uh, 24, sorry, 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 almost a 40 megapixel full-size uh, sensor, but it's an APS-C 24.2 megapixel. So it's actually um, quite a good resolution sensor and excellent for photographs. I love the photographs coming out of this camera. The video leaves a lot to be desired, hence the camcorder. Likewise, the pictures coming out of this camcorder leave a lot to be desired. Uh, so it's a, it's a combination of the two to bring us the glory of the digital 21st century. Actually, not even 21st century. It's still the uh, 20th century technology, but that's fine. So um, let's see the glory, the glory of the uh, M3 and the AX10 working together in unison. They're probably about the same technological advanced uh, advancements in uh, in use of cameras, etc. But I just love the small form factor, the ease of use, and then the the quick processing on my old uh, MacBook Pro. It just works all together very well. This 4K, 6K, even 8K, man, dread the day when 16K comes out. The file sizes are through the roof. They're huge. So you've got to buy more hard drives. You've got to get faster internet. You've got to upload everything. It's it just, that's, this is a whole new vlog because you know what? There's a couple of people that I've been following on YouTube who are using film cameras, which I've got the film camera EOS uh, one. I love that. Uh, and I've got the Canon A1s, uh, 35 mil cameras as well. They're fantastic. You know what? The workflow on that is so easy compared to digital. Um, yeah, you can be filming and filming and filming while someone else is processing and editing your uh, film and it, it comes back a few days later and you can just repeat that process and keep it going. I mean, you're talking... Uh, anyway, it's another vlog. I'll talk about that at length some other time. So anyway, let's go and get moving. I'll show you what's happening in Southwest Sydney. <laughs> people lined up to get tested. Wow. Great. I've just come back from Campbelltown and on the way through Camden um, I saw a lot of cars looking to try and get into the COVID testing centre on Broughton Street in Camden and the line of traffic, I just showed you footage there of Park Street coming up Park Street towards St. John's Church. That line actually extended around to the front of the testing centre around the Old Hume Highway, left into Park Street and then left again into Menangle Road and left again into the top of Broughton Street. So it's gone completely around the block. Do you reckon they'll let me do a live stream in here one day? Looking like this, I can say. Trying to find a part. Trying to find a part. It's a, it's a thing. Oh, I know. It's up here. It's uh, this. This thing's ingenious. I'll show you it all, how I apply it later. Very cool. Well, I'm here at Cake Beers waiting to get my coffee and I've just come from Bunnings where there was uh, a little bit of a commotion. Someone got shouted at for going in when they shouldn't have been going in, damn it! You gotta wait in line, buddy! It was good. Got my stuff. I've left. Now I'm waiting for my coffee. Well, I'm waiting to be served to get my coffee. How's coffee at Jono's? Is it safe? Are you social distancing? Are you wearing your masks? Hmm? You gotta wear your masks. Alright, wear your masks.
Today I'm going to go to the Powerhouse Museum and see the Maiton Guitar Collection. <sighs> Woohoo! Alright, let's get into it. It's crazy raining weather, so we're heading out into that. Here's what we're going to do. We've got this plastic bag. It's going to be the raincoat for the camcorder. Can you see that? All right, so we made it in, and we've got a Maiton brochure. All right, we're making our way in. Here we go. I want to see these guitars so much. Should be great. Check out this display here. Look at that. Guitars. Maiton. There's a big old video wall there. Showing the wood they select for making the guitars. Apparently Maiton is a concatenation of two words. May is one of the wives of the guys who set it up. And Ton is from the tone of the wood. So May Ton, that's Keith Richards. Player of Maiton guitars. Woohoo! The Easy Beats. Mating guitarists. Nice. I've got no idea what's in here. Oh. More displays. This is how they're constructed. That's a guitar collection. Whoa, that's bashed up. Oh, check that out. Oh, look at the levers, half full sound barrier, they've got switches for selecting the pickups.
Ah, oh, look at the switches. <laughs> Flying V, my God. <gasps> Twelve stringer. shape that I'm familiar with. Let's have a great.
no idea they did amps. Pieces. Oh my gosh. And they got the top as well. Which one would you choose? Oh my gosh. It's not the entire range either.
Thank you very much. Enjoy. I did. <laughs> A rainy day. So, a rainy day in Sydney, but awesome. Wow. Got to see the Maiden display. It was fantastic. Lots Whoa. and lots and lots of guitars. Um, all right, we're on our way back. That was fun. I think now that might do us. 